What's up, everybody? My name is Coalfire, and welcome to Scotoma. Now, this is a pretty small game, but I really wanted to play it because it does some things that a lot of horror games don't do well, and that is its audio and visual design in a super, super simplistic way. It pulls off a lot of things that big horror games fail to do. So I wanted to just get in and, and show it off a little bit. Alrighty. Here we go. So the entire game is based only on essentially only on audio, and it does a fantastic job of conveying danger, monsters. Oh, oh that scared me. And fear and atmosphere through only this. You can see that you give off sound, and that whatever that is is coming for you and it it shows you the sound how freaking awesome is that but you give off sound by moving it gives off sound by moving you can tell where everything is oh and you just have to get out of here here i'm gonna i just want to start it off by going to the monster Give off more sound when you run, and the more danger you're in, the smaller your sightline is. Until... Yeah, that's it. But it, it can do so much with so little. Let's actually try and beat it now. Hell yes. I absolutely love this. Okay, where where is our monster friend coming from? Okay. Yeah, that way. Let's get out of here. Oh shit. Yep, the puddles play piano. Nope, nope, nope. And I don't know what triggers it, but occasionally a second one will show up that has a different colored, um, a different colored sound, if that makes any sense. So you can actually tell them apart. Oh, yep, there it is. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Nope, nope, nope. Shit. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Ah. <laughs> and how many games do you know of that can convey that much feeling and emotion and information by showing you so little and doing it so effectively? Oh, Jesus. I've never actually beaten this. I'm not sure if I even know how. I don't need, I don't know if I need to be stepping on the puddles to activate something and put myself in danger or if I just need to keep moving in one direction. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. OK. 
Okay. I don't know where you came from. Whoa. Why does my vision shrink? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Let me out! Jesus! Oh! Oh, holy shit. I was supposed to walk towards the yellow. Oh! Wow. Whoa. Okay. Is that it? I think so. Okay, so yeah, that's that's why I wanted to show this off is, you know, the gameplay itself was nothing special. It's quite literally walking in one direction until you find that yellow pulse and walk towards it, which took me <laughs> way too long to figure out. Um, but the way that it does, it's monster and audio mechanics is I think nothing short of brilliant because the music adapts with the danger that you're in you can always tell where the monster is and um, what direction it's coming from how close it is to you and by nothing more than audio and restricting your visuals alone it can create this monster of your own design that you never see what it is. You can almost always outrun it. I've never been in a situation where I couldn't escape whatever it is that's chasing me. And in doing so, it can create this fantastically tense, freaky scenario where you don't know what you're running from or what you're running to without ever actually showing you anything other than the sound. And that is absolutely fantastic um, horror game design, because you don't know what's chasing you. You never see it. One of the biggest things in effective horror is mystery, because nothing is scarier than the unknown. And as soon as you know what is chasing you, it loses a lot of that te its tension. And this does a phenomenal job of maintaining that all the way through. Even if it is just point in one direction and walk until you find the yellow bubble, this is a fantastic little game for how to design a horror monster, a horror atmosphere. Yeah, that's just me gushing over this for as long as this video lasts. I know it's probably a little bit shorter, but... I felt like I needed to play this for the channel because I've criticized horror games in the past and I wanted to show off something that does so much with so little and does it so well. But thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Coalfire and I will see you next time.